In this episode of the JSP Show, I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted elements from your images in Photoshop. Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of the JSP Show. And as always, I'm super pumped to be here. And this week we've got a lovely image from Ian in the lounge and I'm going to show him how to remove a depua. <laughs> anyway, you can see it's a lovely capture he's got here, a dad touching a young boy's head and it's, a, it's such a great moment. But um, where are you? What happened there? And I'm spinning around, rotating, doing my thing. So <laughs> oh, I had touch on on my Wacom. So there you go. That's why. Um, anyway, you can see it's a great moment. But unfortunately, he's holding a bag of Dapu. So we're going to remove Dapu. But first of all, um, let's just do a quick edit in Lightroom. And I'll show you. I went from uh, this is where it was to this here. And I'll show you how I got there very soon. And But before I get started, I want you to check out this link. If you're ready to master your photography, we have the place for you. It's called the Share, Inspire, Create Lounge. Check out this annotation, check out this link. And uh, believe me, there's people in there just like you learning and mastering their photography every day. All right, let's get into this image. Ian, lovely image. I love the capture. So first thing I'm going to do, guys, and I'm just going to work down this basic panel and just do a basic edit on it. Um, I'm just going to go straight to daylight there. I think that's nice. It uh, looks quite nice. You can see on the histogram there, it, the midtones and that are pushed um, to the left a little bit there. There is no clipping in the highlights of the shadows. So what I might do is uh, let me just quickly set the white and black point. I'm going to hold down option. I'm going to pull down to the right to set the white. And we don't want to see any white dots. Obviously, that's pure white. And blacks, so we want to see a little bit of black there. Okay, so that's added a tiny bit of contrast in the image there. And I do like the slightly warmer white balance there as well. All right, so that's that done. I'm going to give it a little bit of contrast. And I'm actually going to just, overall, I'm just going to brighten the image up just a touch. And don't worry too much um, too much there. It looks a bit bright, but I'm going to put a little vignette on it too. So let me just zoom in before we do that. Let's have a quick look at the detail. So there is a slight bit of noise there. So if I press the I key, let's see, uh, ISO 6400. So there you go. There is a slight bit of noise. So let's reduce that noise now in Lightroom. Um, somewhere around there is looking pretty good. So that's before, after. Yep, looking good. Like it, like it. All right, let's add some sharpening. So I've added about 30. So I'll go up to about 70 in the sharpening. I'm going to hold down the option key for the masking slider and everything that's turning black now isn't being affected by the sharpening. And that's looking pretty good. Let's zoom back out. Remember, this is just a quick edit. The actual thing the actual thing we want to do is remove our Dapua. All right. I'm jumping, jumping around here, just letting my Mac catch up. Yeah, there we go. So that's before, after, before, after. Okay, one thing I can see, I think it just needs a slight crop here. I'm just going to leave it at the, at the actual ratio it was. And I'm going to lock it at 6 4 by 6 and yeah, something like that's okay. Look, you know, yep, that's fine. Looking good, looking good. All right, so now I'm just going to add a little vignette on it. Just to focus the eye into the subject there. Don't forget a little bit of feather. And that's pretty much done. Like We can play around. There's a bit more we could do to that probably. But I think that's pretty good. So before, after. All right. Command E. Let's get into Photoshop. So I'm going to send it from Lightroom to Photoshop with Command E. And Photoshop is opening up now in the background. Give it a sec, guys. Now, this is quite a long process. Um, I've got some cloning and, and stuff I need to do. So I may fast forward little bits and pieces here and there. So if you find, uh, I'm just jumping ahead. It's just because it's pretty mundane stuff watching me clone. <laughs> All right, guys. So Command J, we're going to duplicate the layer. So I've got two there. You can see in my layers palette here, there's two now. So um, Lightroom is a destructive editor. There's, it is only so many undos you can do. So I've got the original version there. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is grab the marquee tool. And I'm gonna, I wanna be in pretty far here, guys. Like, I wanna be a fair way in, you know? Um, I'm just gonna reset the black and white there. I'm gonna need that a bit later, but uh, I'm, I, wanna, I wanna just draw a lasso around here. Make a selection, it doesn't have to be too neat, guys. And then I'm gonna go up to edit, and I'm gonna go to fill. And I wanna make sure that this drop down's on content aware. I'm just gonna hit okay. 
And look at that. Lightroom's done a pretty good job. Command D to deselect. It's done a pretty good job. Um, uh, obviously, there's a few things here we still need to fix up. But that's, that's not bad for a start, I think. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to hit the S key over to the clone tool. Now, I'm going to leave the flow around 100%, but I'm going to drop it down somewhere 60, 70, something like that. 75, it doesn't really matter. Somewhere around there is perfect. Now, I just want to tighten up this clone. And I don't have to worry too much because I'm going to go back and clean this up later. But I do want to get rid of some of this area here just to, just to, just to clone it out a little bit more. So I'm going to hit the option key, select an area that it's going to clone from. And I'm just going to clone over this area here like this just quickly. It's not... You know, this isn't rocket science, guys. It's pretty easy stuff. Once you get to know the tools, you can run through this pretty quick. I'm just going to go in a little bit tighter here. And now one thing, you can see this finger gets cut off. So what I'm going to do is actually shape it like that finger's been tucked under there. So I'm just going to run up in here like this. Yep, and that's probably all we need to do. All right, to the square selection tool, I'm going to select the ball area because what we need to do, we need to transform this and... Uh, create a layer, another layer from this selection. So I'm going to right click that selection now and I'm going to go layer via copy. And you can see what's happened. Photoshop's created a, a copy of that layer on itself there, um, just of the ball of that selection. So what I want to do, but I want to flip that around. So I'm going to go up here to edit. And I'm going to go down to free transform and then I'm going to flip uh, horizontally. So this is what we got. See, it's flipped it horizontally, too good. All right, the next thing I want to do, guys, is I'm going to drop the opacity of this fella here because I want to be able to see through it a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to add a layer mask by this button down the bottom. So I've got a mask now. And I just want to position this somewhere roughly where I think it's going to match up that other side of the ball. Somewhere like that. You know, we'll free transform it in a minute. All right, so white. Sorry, I'm going to go to the brush tool. So hit the B key. I'm now on the brush tool. No, I'm not. Let me cancel this. I know Photoshop. Now hit the B key. I'm now on the brush tool. I'm just going to use the left and right brackets. I am speeding through this pretty quick, guys, because it is a fairly big workflow. <laughs> so left and right bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller. It's on 100%. That's fine. Totally happy with that. Now I've got to make sure the mask is selected. And uh, I want to be on black. So I'm going to hit X here, and that's going to swap my brush to the black. And I want to erase. So black is going to show what's underneath. So white conceals, black reveals. And I just want to paint around here and just we'll clean this up a bit better in a minute, guys. But you'll start to see what's happening, okay? So I'm starting to bring that in there. All right, let's have a look. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's turn the opacity up, see what we've got left. Okay, I'm going to hit X and I want to bring that edge back in here because this is the important bit. This is the bit we want to really show through. Now, I'll just drop that opacity down a bit. And you can see this is pretty slow, tedious work, guys. It's just... It is a little bit slow, but I want to see those fingers. That's really important. But all we're trying to do is get the edge of that ball to line up there. So I'm going to hit X again. And I've painted over his fingers there. That's okay. 71%. Looking good. X, I'm going to go in a bit tighter. And there we go. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is Command T. I want to free transform this layer. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go warp. So I'm speeding through this pretty quick, guys. And I just want to bring this edge up here. You know, I've just, just got the warp tool. I want to make it look a bit more natural. Oh, that's pretty good. That seems to be lining up pretty good. Hit the enter key now. Now, I'll make sure I'm on the mask and we're still on the brush key. So I hit the X again and I'm on white. So I'm actually going to, let's do something like that. So if you wanted to, guys, what you could do, okay, what you could do here is I could fiddle around and probably clone out those words so it looks a bit natural and whatever you want to do. But look, honestly, if I zoom back out now, you're not even really going to know. Look at that. So that's it, guys. Like, if you really wanted to make this look exactly the way it was, you would uh, have to move those words over and clone them back in or just clone those words out. But um, that's the basic thing, guys. It's basically put it in Photoshop, duplicate the layer. I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to fill it and do content aware. And then I'm going to... Uh, Clone out that little bit there, his finger, just make it look a bit more natural there. And then I'm going to select this layer, flip it over, and put it, uh, make a layer via copy. And I know this is a lot of steps, guys, but believe me, you can watch the video over and over again, and, and you'll eventually get it. <laughs> it is, it is. Once you get to know these different tools, it becomes a hell of a lot easier. And then I'm going to flip it over, free transform it, and just use the mask with the with the brush tool and and. Uh, and use the black and white uh, colors to reveal and hide parts of the mask and you end up you'll see what happens so that's the mask there that's the only little bit we needed to show off that layer lumber layer two there so the last thing you can do guys is select the whole 
three layers. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go merge layers. Then I'm going to hit command, save. And that's going to throw me back over to Lightroom. And I'll just jump back over to Lightroom now. Yep. And I just minimize Lightroom. Let's bring Lightroom back. Oh no, computers. Here we go. Lightroom back. And there you go, guys. So we've gone from Dapu to no Dapu. <laughs> so pretty easy, guys. Um, there's a few steps there. It does seem complicated, but believe me, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And, you know, when you start to remove things out of your frame in Photoshop and play around with the different tools, it does become all clear. <laughs> Just takes a bit of practice. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that little tip. And Ian, thanks for letting me do this to your image. It's such a great little moment. And uh, it's uh, really, really awesome. And uh, guys, Ian's from the lounge, the Share, Inspire, Create lounge. And this is the type of feedback that people get in the lounge. You know, We make videos for them. We give them comments. They're getting inspirational feedback from other great photographers in the lounge every other day. Make sure you check it out. Check out this link. Click on, click on the uh, annotation there and, uh, and get stuck in because believe me, it is going to be the best choice you've made all year to improve your photography. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a little bit longer than normal, but uh, uh, Ian, I'm sure you're going to appreciate it. All right, guys, this is Johnny out. Peace.